that. Hi, Jazzy Green family. How is everybody doing today? This is Tuesday that I am filming. I have a few errands to run. Not really long. It won't be anything long. I know it's been a minute since you've seen me. Not that long, but at least a week. Too long. I have been preoccupied with just life. <laughs> life issues, you know, what we all have, we all are going through something. Everybody's going through something in this world, you know. But I know I have the victory. But it's been a minute. I haven't been feeling motivated. Um, you know, coming on to YouTube. I love you guys and, you know, I have my channel and everything. So I've got to bring you guys content. But it's been a struggle. <laughs> it's been a struggle. Um, and I think the struggle is because of issues of life that I'm dealing with situations that I'm going through and I'm not going to I'm not going to get into those because they're very 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 personal and embarrassing and I I just cannot I can't share them so sorry I, I, I don't want to go into that but you know this too shall pass it's what I believe this too shall pass I have the victory my family has the victory, and you guys have the victory. Whatever situation you're going through, you just have to trust and believe God. So, yep. <clears throat> but I have to go to uh, AAA. I got to run in there and take care of my business there. Go pick up some medicine at Walmart, and then drop by briefly to my mother's house. And um, she fixed these delicious greens. Yum. And I love greens. Homemade greens. Woo. I don't know what kind of greens they are. Mustard greens. Collard greens. I mean, it doesn't matter. Any type of green I like. I just love greens. So she's going to let me have a little bit of that. I'm going to bring it home because I'm not hungry. I already eat breakfast. So I have to eat it with my dinner. But anyway, you know, it feels good to be out. It feels good to be out. <laughs> My son is always talking to me and his dad. You guys need to get out more. You need, you need to get out more. And I'm like, well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> we get out when we have to get out, when we need to, when we want to. It's too hot. Man, it's hot. Today, it's about... 90 something degrees oh, I would love to be in whatever state that has rain right now if anybody has rain today that you're watching this video um, comment down below and tell me it's raining where you are but today is hot and it feels good in the in the car of course with the air on <sighs> But yeah, getting back to what I was saying about not feeling motivated. I am motivated, but then I'm not. You know, I think about, well, let me walk around the house and look at my decor. See what type of content I can bring to you guys. And, you know, I, I think every YouTuber, and I'm not sure of every YouTuber, but some YouTubers, I should say. We struggle sometimes with that. You know, I just can't think of anything to bring. And I, you know, my husband says, well, why don't you look at some of the videos and try to get some ideas? Wait a minute. Mm. Go, 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 go. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I had to stop talking because the fire, fire department wasn't the truck, but the, I guess the paramedic was coming by and I had to see which way they were coming by and try to get some ideas and I do do that I have and you know what I think I shared this once before 
I think it's a every now and then type of thing that I go through. It's like I get so frustrated because I don't know what to do. You know, last week I participated in the Heaven's Pearls collab, did that. I wanted to bring more content, just couldn't think of anything. And I was feeling kind of down. Oh, something bad has happened at the corner of this street. I can't take you, I can't let you guys see it because I don't have a car mount up here to put, which I need to get um, so that I can put the camera. But no, I don't, I wouldn't want to put the camera on the police because then you know how they are. They can get kind of suspicious and think, oh, what's she doing? You know, so I don't want to do that. Oh, it's a car accident. Oh my gosh. Lord Jesus. Oh God, that's bad. Woo! The car is upside down. It doesn't even look like a car. It looked like it burnt up. Oh, I don't it doesn't even look like a real car. It looks like a goat car type thing. It's upside down the where the wheels are. You don't see the body of the car. Oh man, I just hope it's no fatalities. My gosh. But anyway. And I said to my husband, I said, well, they've seen all my decor. I don't have any new decor to show. You know, get creative, Liz. I know how to get creative, but I think because of what issues that I'm going through that has my mind, I've been preoccupied and try not to be heavyweighted. Um, you know, issues you go through kind of like trying to weigh you down. And YouTube is like, YouTube is my happy place to watch the videos. I love, I, I feel happy and cheerful. I, I, I feel much better when I look at the videos. Or if someone says something to make you laugh, you just feel uplifted. So, you know, but as far as trying to create content like yesterday, here I am walking around the house looking for ideas, just looking at all my decor. I went into my closet looking through bags and stuff, but I was sleepy and tired at that, and I just didn't feel like I was like, nah, I will see what could I bring, you know, to the kitchen area. Maybe do a tablescape or um, some ideas, some summer decor, styling ideas. And I was just like, nah. So I feel down. I actually feel like crying, you know. So I said, "Well, I don't think this is the right day for me to be trying to do this." So that's I've been kind of like going through that type of phase. That's why. That's why. That's why I haven't brought anything else to you. And I know it hasn't been that long, but to me, it feels like eternity. When I, and it's always my desire to post at least minimum two times a week. If I do three, that's a miracle, okay? But I want to strive to and be consistent with it. But there's certain times, like I said, you know, issues of life get in the way, and that, that's understandable. So I know you guys understand. At least I hope you do. But I'm going to get off of that topic because that's not a very uplifting topic to continue to talk about. You know, I don't want it bringing me down again. In my mind, I know what, what I'm talking about. You guys don't know specifically the issues. But anywho, it's just a good day. Every day is a good day that we wake up. We open our eyes and see a new day. Uh, it's a good day. No matter what you're going through, you wake up that morning, it's a good day. Because you know what? Somebody did not wake up today. So I'm very thankful to be alive because there's so many people that are not my 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 oh man I tell you this mental health situation is really running rapid you hear on the news so many people you know all these shootings and oh gosh it's just, it's just it breaks your heart it breaks your heart especially you know the recent shooting, Texas, the school, they interviewed uh, one teacher, um, actually today, the day I'm filming, they interviewed him for the first time and he's he has recovered. He's had multiple surgeries 
and he's recovering but he said that he will be scarred for life like I'm pretty sure everybody else will the families the whole entire school and community but specifically the teachers um, he described how um, the day of the shooting when the, it was happening uh, the shooter hadn't gotten to his classroom which he didn't know if they if he was or not but he said that the, the kids his students were asking mr. so-and-so what's going on he was like I don't know but I do believe he did know he just didn't want to scare them because if you tell the little kids that you know elementary kids I mean they're gonna be scared and start panicking and I think he was trying to not I think I know he was trying to protect them you know so they don't react and then that caused the shooter to come to his classroom he was probably hoping that the shooter would not get to his classroom but unfortunately the shooter came to his classroom and unfortunately killed every child every child in his classroom all of his students got shot every last one of them except for him Woo. oh lord i mean that's really a hard oh, that's really hard i mean just to say what i said it's hard to even formulate the words without crying. You know, I'm an emotional person anyway. You know, I heard it. When I heard the, the teacher talking, I was crying. How can you not cry? You, you, If you have a heart, how can you not feel sad and cry? But anyway, he said that uh, he won't become a teacher anymore. He would not continue his career as a teacher he cannot even go into the classroom or any classroom anymore and that's very understandable but and the reporter that was interviewing him you know she was crying she was trying to keep it together you know being a journalist I know that was very very hard you know you have a compassion oh man but anyway mental health is just on the rise and my gosh all I can say is, my gosh. I can say a lot more, but I'm not going to. It's just heartbreaking. But anyway, um, time to poof myself up. The joy of the Lord is definitely my strength. So, I gotta be happy. You know that song... Um, I forgot who sings it. Now, I do not own the rights to this music, but that song, I won't sing it, but it's like, happy, da 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 I'm so happy. I forgot who sings it, but I tell you, we all need happiness. <laughs> we all need to sing that song. But not a lot of people can sing it. Oh, wow, it's just too much stuff going on. There's a police on the freeway going this way. Here's a police officer about to approach me. Not approach me, but drive by me. And there he went. So there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> when an officer drives by me, I'm like this, okay. Let me be good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing anything bad, but I always feel like I got to be especially good. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not speeding. I'm on the freeway, of course, but I'm not speeding. It's just the fact that, oh, I got to do, I got I to gotta be good. I always feel like that. Okay, Liz, you're in school now. Fold your hands and be a good girl. <laughs> That's kind of how it is, how my mind thinks. Uh, that's funny. But anyway. Um, puppy's at home. Aaron is at home getting ready to hit the streets himself. Well, I'm not really hitting it. I'm just, you know, have to do a, couple, a few things to do. 
Oh boy. Sorry for that. Hubby called me. I was wondering why my my um, Fitbit right here, I felt the buzz and I was like, what is that? You know, and then I looked over at the camera like I'm looking at you guys and it was my hubby calling. And I told him I say, hey, you interrupted my filming. <laughs> but no, oops. He can do that, that's okay. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get me a car mount. Um, I had one before, but I think it stopped working or something happened to it, you know, to go on the windshield here because I don't know, but you guys see all this back here. I don't like all that. and I just don't like the angle that I'm in. But this is all I can do right now. And I started to put the camera over here on the left. Because, see, I have you guys mounted on my, um, what do you call it? The um, air-conditioned vent on the right side where the passenger is. And if I put it over here closest to me on the left, then the steering wheel, part of the steering wheel is in the way. It's hard to see me, so I'm like, oh boy. Boy, it's so hot. I gotta turn the air up on the second one. Oof. I'm telling you, I'm a fall, fall and winter girl. Uh, give me the fall, give me the cold. Yes, ooh, yes, give me the snow. <laughs> I like that. I don't like the heat. Got me a frozen water bottle. So I got to drink, drink, drink. I don't like to drink too much water when the air conditioning is on because it makes you cold. It makes me cold at least, especially when this is ice. Mm. One thing I want to share with you guys. I don't know if you guys have any have ever experienced this but this is my second time experiencing this and a lady approached me yesterday I went out yesterday briefly and I have my window up my air condition on like now now how did she know that I was in the car she must have watched me she must have saw me get in the car okay because my windows are tinted now, I know you guys can't really tell that they're dark, but it's not too dark where you get a ticket, but they're dark. So, she must have seen me get in. But she came to me, and I looked up at her, and I didn't open my window right away. I just opened it up like a crack, like that. Just enough to hear her, not for her to get her fingers or hands in. Yes, and then she asked me, if I could give her her and her son a ride home with their groceries and stuff like that or give her some money for the bus or something you know what I thought that I think there's some type of scam going on here maybe in my area I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it or heard about it but this same thing happened before wait a minute there was another time a couple of months ago me and my husband and son was out and about at the store, as a matter of fact, shopping. And another lady approached us and asked us the same thing. Now, one thing about it, she said the same thing about, you know, give her a ride with all the groceries. I, I can't remember if she had groceries. Did we see her groceries? Now, with the first lady, I can't remember if we saw the groceries. But she said something about her son. Now, what puzzled me, well, where's your son? To that, that's fishy right there. But we didn't do it because, you know, I told my husband, no, uh-uh. And COVID is here. You know, you just can't take chances. People are crazy. She could have been legit. But how will we know? You know, you can't, you can't afford to be too kind. I just you gotta be careful. So yesterday, I didn't see a lady's son. She's the same thing, and I'm like, I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I won't be able to. So I gave her a dollar. I had like one dollar left. I just handed it to her. I said, well, you know, 
I'll be blessed as a result of giving her a dollar. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't have a problem giving her a dollar, but I cannot give her a ride. I just can't do that. I just don't want to take any chances. But hold on. Let me get my, get these people to open up. Picking up. I'm at the pharmacy, guys. Picking up some medicine. Anyway. Huh? Yes. Yeah, it's in the order. Um, just give us a little bit of the, the pull order of boxes. It's on the list of the paper. We sent a pull order of boxes. So, do you want to pull to the side and wait or sit there? I don't think there's anybody behind you anyway. No, it's, no, it's not. How long will it be? Okay, well, I'll come back. Okay, okay, I'll come back. That. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. As a matter of fact, don't be surprised. I may not come back today. I may just come back on Thursday when we go grocery shopping. That's probably what I'll do. I, I probably won't come back. <laughs> I did say I'll come back, but I didn't say what day. AAA now. I just had a, a coughing attack, so I had to get my cough together and clear this throat because I don't want to be going into a business coughing and then they, they be looking at me, you know. I don't want them thinking, oh, she must. No, she must nothing. Okay, <laughs> just confirm everything is filled up here. Okay, I am back. Ah. Okay. Well, that was um, texting. <laughs> okay, I had to fill out a um, a form. Did you know that um, you guys can get free um, what's it called? Free identity theft protection from AAA. Check your local AAA. I just got it. You have to fill out, you use their iPad and you fill out several, several questions and what it will do, you know, once they put all the information in the computer, well, it's already in the computer on their iPad that you're using, after you fill it out, you'll get an email showing you that you set the count up and all that. And if anybody tries to uh, use your information, your cards, or I don't know, let's say you lost your credit card or something. Nobody, you know, if they try to use it, what it would do is alert you by your phone number, uh, email, probably text too. It'll alert you. It'll alert you. So that's a good thing. Oh gosh, I think I'm lost. You know, now I'm driving in an area where the auto. Um, area is where there's a corn car truck where there's a lot of um, auto shops dealer shops dealers yeah auto dealers are I can't get the word right and uh, you better wait look at this person oh, it's intended to come on out you know what I have to right away okay no fuss Liz no fuss no fuss no fuss <laughs> This is like a maze. That's why I'm kind of like getting off track of what, about what I'm trying to say. It's a maze in here. Everywhere you turn, there's a car dealership pretty much at every corner. So I kind of know how to get through here a little bit. Sometimes I get a little bit lost trying to get to the AAA place, which is back where I just came from. Okay, I'm on my way to my mother's house just to say hello. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I just don't know how to do this. You guys know about these these new um, lines where you can't drive in the lines. 
I have not learned how to do that yet. I'm still confused. Bike lane. We have bike lanes on our streets. I can't get into my mother's facility without the clicker. Now I've got a dig in my purse. Oh, brother, I am not prepared. What are you blowing at? <laughs> when somebody's blowing, I'll be thinking, are they blowing at me? I didn't do anything. I'm right in the, uh, within the lines here of how I'm supposed to drive. I've got to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. I know what I'm going to have is a salad. I know that. That wasn't even the stop sign. Here I am stopping. Anyway, hold on for a minute, guys. I can't talk when I'm trying to <laughs> concentrate on specific things. Like I've, I've got to park in her space. And I've got to remember what space her uh, car thing is. Oh, what is it? Oh, I can't see it. See? Man. I got to see. I don't even know what number it is. I can't see it. This is crazy. Well, which one is it? Oh, shoot. I don't... There we go. <laughs> if my mother was in here, she would say, Liz, don't you know what you're doing? Sometimes I can't drive, guys. <laughs> I'm serious. Sometimes I literally cannot park or drive. <laughs> I don't want to hit the wall. Okay. Ooh, boy. I've got to use the bathroom so bad. My gosh. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Shoot, I got to go. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Oh boy, this is a mess. I'm out of breath. Ooh, okay. See you guys in a bit. I'm just leaving my mother's place. And, uh, <laughs> I forgot I gotta go back to AAA because I forgot to handle something else. Something else I had to, uh, some other business I had to take care of. But that wasn't the main reason why I was going. I took care of the main reason. But the second reason, I totally forgot. And I was like, OMG, I got to go back. And I have less than 30 minutes to get there because they close at 5 o'clock. And it's now 4.30. <sighs> I'm huffing and puffing because I didn't walk. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. It's hot, 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 I tell you. Mm. Now, tomorrow, they said it's supposed to be 100 degrees. <laughs> How exciting is that? Not. Well, anyway, my mother gave me some greens, and I can't wait. Yum, yum, yum. I cannot wait to have it with my dinner. Probably going to make me a salad. I always make a salad and have some red beans and i guess hubby i had fixed some ground turkey and mix it with some rice brown rice bell pepper and onion wait a minute okay i'm gonna make sure i'm going the right way bell pepper and onion so that's gonna be tasty i will talk to you guys whenever i don't know what the next clip will be but i will see you it's the next day and I am waiting for Sam and Aaron to get ready so that we can get out of here. We have to go grocery shopping so it's um, that time. got to get groceries in the house and the way I look and feel, I don't feel like going or doing anything. I'm just mentally and physically tired today so, um, you know, I'll just do what I got to do. Be strong and just keep pushing forward. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to you guys, for all of you who saw my post and who are praying for me and my family and lifting us up. I do appreciate all of you, and um, I know my family does too. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. But anyway, uh, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Liz. I'm so glad to have you. 
And if you have not yet joined the Jazzy Green family, please go ahead and subscribe before you leave. Click that red subscribe button. Leave me a big comment and give me a buzz. Ah, and give me a big thumbs up. I'm tired, so that's why. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, you take care, and I will see you guys in another video. I don't know what day it'll be, but just keep on watching for me to appear, and I'll appear, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.